Let's do it, a side-by-side -side comparison review of the T3 hairdryer and curling iron and the Dyson Air Wrap. So don't mind my sandpaper face over here. I just had clear and brilliant the other day. Okay, first, shampoo and conditioner. I'm using products best for heat sign. Uh, hi, friend. <laughs> then it's my usual post-shower routine. Rose water and hair growth serum followed by a heat protecting blowout cream. I'm going to divide my hair down the middle and style one side with the Dyson Air Wrap and the other with the T3 featherweight hairdryer and the T3 Twirl Trio 1.75 barrel. Now, the Dyson Air Wrap has taken the world by storm because it boasts being able to dry and curl hair with less damage and less time. It can be used with wet or dry hair though semi damp is recommended now the learning curve on this beast is steep but though i've watched some tutorials i don't know what the f i'm doing i'm obviously struggling but eventually i get it so the air app is said to reduce heat damage in two ways one by never going above 302 degrees regular heat tools can go up to 400 degrees and two taking a two-step heat styling process down to a one step so the process is a bit frustrating at first and i struggle to get the air wrap to grab my hair this is my second time using it and i opted to dry my hair to 70 percent dry it seems to curl and dry down the mid shaft really quickly but near the crown of my head it still feels damp. So I decided to go over the curls with the round brush attachment, which I really like to finish drying it, soften the waves and create volume. Uh, I definitely need more practice. Okay, done with that side, now onto the next. So both the Dyson and the T3 hairdryer are negative ionic, meaning that they break up water molecules, drying the hair faster and reducing frizz. The T3 definitely is drying my hair faster than the Airwrap drying attachment. The airflow is much stronger. Now onto the T3 curling iron. It's made of a blend of ceramic and tourmaline material. Ceramic allows for an even distribution of heat and the tourmaline produces negative ions. When heated, reduce static frizz and minimize damage. There are five heat settings, 260, 300, 350, 390, and 410. I'm using 300 degrees. They say staying between 200 and 300 degrees is where you want to be to avoid damage, but if you have fine thin hair, you really want to stay on the low end of that spectrum. Since I use the air wrap round brush to brush out the curls on the Dyson side, I'm doing the same on the T3 side. Okay, now for the final comparison based on look, feel, and perceived damage. The Dyson side feels really soft and silky. The hair feels evenly dried and the ends don't feel damaged at all. I do notice that the curls have already softened. I've read some other reviews saying that the air wrap curls don't hold well and quickly turn into waves versus tight curls. Now, the T3 side feels very silky and smooth, but the ends do feel dry compared to the Dyson inside the curls are much tighter and i can tell that they will last now when examining everything from the back i do notice that the t3 side is shinier and sleeker compared to the dyson side which is not surprising since curling irons press down strands creating a smoother finish overall the dyson seems to cause less heat damage than the t3 but compared to my old hot tools curling irons t3 is a hair's dream so i think it depends on which look you prefer and how long you want your curls to last what do you guys think